So we're going to start this one by with a, a little bit of a scenario for you. Let's just say it's a, it's a balmy Sunday afternoon. You're sitting out in your backyard enjoying a nice uh, tall glass of lemonade. And then suddenly your partner comes on out and they're, they're feeling a little bit saucy. You know, they're giving you, giving you some signals. And you're just sitting there thinking, well, why don't we take this on back to the bedroom and get, get a little crazy? Why don't we? How about we just do that? And they're just uh, they're licking their lips and they're, uh, they're wagging their tail. Oh, right. You heard me. You heard me correct. They're wagging their tail because in this hypothetical, your partner, yeah, it's Fido. You know, that, uh, that dog you've been raising as a, from, from a puppy. I'm hoping that that really made you want to throw up in your mouth because saying that really made me want to throw up in my mouth. Jesus fucking Christ. But that's honestly what we're talking about right now. Degenerates who actually advocate for shit like this and normalizing it. Not only normalizing it, but making it fucking legal. Now you may recall I had a I was on a podcast with FNGR. I'll be linking that in the description. I'm just going to give you some of the uh, the greatest hits of that podcast in case you don't have the time or inclination, along with a little bit of a spicy commentary on the situation by and large. So me and FNGR, as well as Brony Inspector, with a couple of others who came along the way, um, we decided to have, sit down and have a conversation with one of these degenerates. And this person, Ethical Z, they are the definition of a mongoloid. Now why don't we just sit back and get right into this autism, just so that we can, uh, you can get a look at what I had to put up with for about an hour. Do you have, do, do you have any hot takes on, uh, PETA, uh, Ethical Z? Um... General premise is okay, but, uh, fuck their execution. Well, you heard it here, folks. The Whitney Wisconsin wannabe is saying PETA's not doing a good enough job and their execution is just shit. Who knows, maybe PETA's just not doing enough, uh, petting for Ethical's taste. Wink, wink. So, I, I'm looking at the tweet that I had referenced here that had, uh, 4.1 thousand upvotes where you go, oh my god, so I'm gonna click on this from Wintergreen Wolf's channel. Um, so... This is the kind of shit that people will do to us if we just lay down and submit to them. This is actually ridiculous. This is why I advocate for people arming themselves, that we are the crazy ones. Um, and it says here, animal abuse should have a registered like sex offenders. <coughs> that way you can check before selling pets to them. And also you can trash their house. Oh, I guess I missed the part about trashing their house. And I was like, okay, now I, I, I kind of get the gist of that. Um, before then, <coughs> um, do you feel that people who abuse animals should be on the, uh, registry list? A registry for animal abuse. Um, like, see that yeah. difficult just because, uh, I feel that the current definition of animal abuse isn't quite accurate. Well, here, okay. well, let's, let's, let's keep that within the guidelines since basically there's a register for sexual abusers, correct? Would right. you, yeah. would you be comfortable if sexual abusers that just extended to animals. Again, the, the definition of sexual abuse isn't in a place where I'd so, like it to be. I think that's an interesting take right there, that we should protect the people who are abusing animals because we can't agree on what the definition of abuse is. That's a, that's a pretty interesting point. Not an intelligent one, but it's definitely interesting. Um, well, then why so, don't we pull up the definition and you can real, point out what issues you take? Yeah, uh, real, real quick. So I'm, I'm so really trying not hard to meme here and pull it because you're kind yeah, of doing a little bit of a Bill Clinton there. Define sexual. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I did not have sexual relations with that bagel. Well, so let just real quick, let me just throw this one out there. You don't think uh, people having sex with animals should count as animal abuse? Is what your is is basically what my takeaway is from what I'm from what I've gathered from what you've said. No, um, actually, that's not Okay, true. all right. No, no, okay. let, him, let him go. Please, please go, yes. Um, so it really depends on the uh, type of contact, in my opinion. Um, there are different factors to take into account, like whether it's force, what kind of signs the animal is showing. It was getting into some really dangerous territory. It's like, oh, but you saw the way they were wagging their tail, the way they were, the way they were licking their chops, the way they maybe just wanted a fucking milk bone. Well, you know what? I gave them my milk bone instead. They wanted it. Oh fuck, that's dirty. So with the with regards to the map community, uh, I do think that the sexual attraction to minors is uh, potentially harmful. Um, obviously, people can control their own urges. But it's something, it's an attraction. It's not something that can really be helped. And so being demonized for it doesn't really help uh, the, the mental health of those people when it's already uh, such a fucking rabbit hole. 
So it's, I think they need as much support and education as they can get. Well, hold on. So, so just making fun of them or, or, or ostracizing them is, is completely ineffective, the wrong approach, you think? We accomplish uh, nothing by doing that? I mean, you can meme on people all you want, but, like, uh, for something that they, they can't help, I don't know that that's really helpful to them. <laughs> well, I, I had another one here. Uh, somebody I've seen you retweet a couple times. Wait. It's called a Diplomatic Monster. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on. Actually, I actually want to want to address that. Like you said, things people can't help. You shouldn't. Like it's not helpful. Um, I don't. I don't think anyone's you know slipping and their pants are falling down. They're accidentally sticking their dicks in their dog. You know. I, I think people yeah. can help that. Yeah, for sure. And I always advocate for uh, demonizing actions over attractions. So if you'll allow the uh, alliteration there. <laughs> okay. Well, Ethical Z, you can shove that alliteration right back up your ass because I have a new expression for you. Look, don't touch. Yeah, sounds a lot dirtier when you put it that way, doesn't it? Okay, I I saw this. Oh, Thea. Yeah, I Thea. uh, I, really? I saw your reach, which where it implies it's okay to have sex with animals, but um, you're you're against neutering. Is am I misunderstanding this? And also, on a scale of one to ten, how bad do you want to kick Bob Barker in the nuts? Sorry, okay, if that joke <laughs> bombed, I can turn. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. I removing a dog of its balls is pretty, pretty inhumane, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, there are health concerns to be taken into factor, but in, in general, health concerns to be taken into factor over getting your dog spayed and or neutered. Well, I'm pretty sure there's also some health concerns to letting your dog fuck you in the ass. I'm pretty sure it can catch some things if you were to do something like that. You fucking retard. Let's see here. Um, let's see, zoosexuals and this this was originally on your Twitter retweeted from there. Zoosexuals and minor attracted absolutely fit the queer label. It's not interchangeable with LGBT, but I consider them included in LGBTQ plus. Uh, <laughs> cis heteronormative oppressions include targeted people who refuse to have <laughs> unusual het sex for sexual reasons here i'll put this link in the room i believe you did retweet this um you could choose to say that you did or didn't that definitely sounds like a uh, truest boy tweet Oof. Uh, i think it's from big dragon energy oh i got with the joke well oh, big dick energy big dragon yeah. energy yes yeah. <laughs> it took me a second yes i'm such an old boomer anyways um what are your thoughts on that, or was it just a retweet without thinking about it? And that's the sound of you knowing you fucked up when you retweet something so colossally fucking stupid because it supports your position, and then realizing, oh shit, that was a fucking retarded thing to do. That extended period of completely dead air, where you have no answer for what you've been asked, because what you just did was so fucking stupid. There. You know, maybe maybe some some identification, some uh, some participation in the um in the communities that um that you people just seem so adamant to hitch your wagon onto. Not not because you identify with us, but because you saw that our tactics to to gain social equity were effective. You're not, and it, it's and it's it's just so obvious what you guys are are doing here. They're like, well, uh, LGBT people got social equity. I would like the same thing. I'm sick of people constantly telling me I'm bad. I'll, I'll you know, maybe maybe some of the dumbest ones, maybe some of the dumbest, most fucking trendy fucking LGBT, the new motherfuckers, just the new the new guys. Maybe the new guys will be open enough and dumb enough to buy into what you guys are trying to accomplish with this whole like it's Pride Month. Let's all get on. Let's let's go some animal sex with animals too. How is uh, how is having sex with an animal the same as having sex with uh, a man? And you know something, Roni Inspector is completely right in that tirade that he gave. So while we're on the subject, since we seem to be adding new letters to this acronym, why don't we add another G real quick? 
you know, just for gamers. If you feel a little bit oppressed because uh, you thought Kraid was looking particularly tight one day and people decided to make fun of you and it made you feel sad, we're going to put that G, another G right there in that LGBTQ+, just so that way you can feel included as well because we're adding more and more things to this. While we're at it, let's add another T as well. This is specifically for people who are attracted to the color turquoise. Anything turquoise. If someone made you feel really, really upset because you were attracted to anything that was turquoise, well, congratulations, you're now a protected class. The same way we're adding fucking zoo files and maps to this shit. Jesus fucking Christ, what a fucking joke. I'm, 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 being, I'm trying to take this completely seriously, the same way I was in this stream, but how can this person, this ethical Z degenerate fuck actually try to justify why Zeus Zeus sexuals that's a Zeus sexual okay Zeus sexuals I'm sorry Zeus sexuals and maps should be considered protected within the LGBTQ plus fucking umbrella acronym well I mean you were, a lot you were, of those you, were, were you wanted to yeah. hear yeah he specifically wanted to hear how having sex with a man was like having sex with an animal what's this yeah what are the similarities here uh, so, in terms of sex, I, I can't really defend that because I don't have the the psychological background on that. Oh, of course, you don't have the psychological background, but you have plenty of confidence to actually make the assertion, just none of the confidence to actually defend it. Great. Wonderful. Absolutely fucking brilliant. This is fucking top tier shit right here. Somebody get this person a fucking medal. I bet they're a fucking competitive debater. So, um... I'm always going to uh, advocate for the attraction before the actual sexual physical aspects because I would like to know what is actually going on in the minds of animals before fully advocating for that. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be biased just because of the way I'm oriented, but... You're going to be biased because you want to fuck a dog. That's that's not a way I'm oriented. That's a very, very disingenuous way to put that. You're going to be biased because you want to have sex with a fucking animal, you piece of shit. I, I truly do want the best for animals. Um, with regards to the the, the mutual consensual uh, relationship that you're talking about between gay men, uh, I totally recognize that as valid. Or men, uh, or men who have sex with other men, whichever. Um. Yeah, whatever you want to call it, sure. Um, with animals, it is there. There is that communication barrier. I'm not going to lie. It is a, a big issue. Um, I'm going to contextualize this one for you because I, I think that that's a little bit necessary. The communication barrier they're, they're referencing right now is the fact that animals can't fucking speak. It really depends on the, the two partners and, or however many. I don't, I don't judge. Doesn't, that, uh, that, is, uh, that is not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this shit just fucking escalated. They've gone from two partners to now wanting to have sex with multiple animals. What the f fuck? Like, obviously, animals will all try to communicate uh, the same way. Like, if they need to go outside, they go to the door, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, there are ways of expressing uh, affection. Like, some are more cuddly, or some don't want affection at all. And that's just something you have to learn about your animal. Okay, this is going to segue so, into something that I actually did want to talk I, about. Um Coyote, you want to go next. first? I was, and then I'll rip into it late after you're done, it, it, It's totally okay, Hateful. I think you can go first, and um, I'll just go after. It's fine. No, 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 man. You go first. Um, okay. Well, one of, the, one, of the, one of the things about consent is that it needs to be unambiguous. And the thing that you've just described is that it's very case-by-case, case, and the amount of people who can understand what that would be is very selective. Or interpret, or, 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 yeah. or, or have that right. skill of interpretation, this mysterious right. thing right. that you're talking right. hold about. Hold on, hold on. I got the contract right now. So, um, oh, what what I'm going to... One second. Um, if, it's, if it has to be unambiguous, very clear, everyone would be able to easily understand it, there can't possibly be any kind of consenting if it requires selective interpretation from select individuals and then, you know, relaying that. So that's kind of a problem here, because if... The animal can't make this incredibly fucking clear to everybody, and I don't even know why I'm entertaining this this line of reasoning, but if the animal can't make it clear to everyone possibly who could interpret this, you can't have unambiguous consent. And that in and of itself means an animal by definition can't consent. Ultra combo! And 
that that's a tough point and I, I can give that one to you but at the same time if an animal shows those signs of consent then who are we to deprive them of that we but it's yeah, not considered but, but unambiguous these signs, we can't these all signs interpret are that. ambiguous things you're interpreting I know my dog wanted to have sex with me because he wagged his tail three times and uh, spun around in a circle, and that's the thing he does when he wants my dick. Like you're, you're, you're just bark completely... once for yes, bark twice yeah, for no. You're, you're, you're grasping <laughs> at straws here on this one, man. I think this is an incredibly interesting point right here. How they sort of doubled down on their fucking position of if an animal wanted it, despite the fact I've literally laid out right here why consent is unachievable with a fucking animal why that that's not something that should be fucking done um have you ever have you ever seen like a one of those one of those procedural cop shows where you see a rapist sitting on the stand and their argument always boils down to they were asking for it they wanted it they liked it um you can kind of see ethical sort of doubling back sort of onto that fucking witness stand right there just with that argument oh who are we to deprive them they wanted it Bitch, we just laid out why they can't consent because they're fucking animals and they can't do that. If it has to be unambiguous, very clear, everyone would be able to easily understand it. There can't possibly be any kind of consenting if it requires selective interpretation from select individuals. If an animal shows those signs of consent, then who are we to deprive them of that? We, but it's yeah, not considered but, but unambiguous. These signs, we can't these all signs interpret are it. ambiguous things you're interpreting. I know my dog wanted to have sex with me because he wagged his tail three times and uh, spun around in a circle, and that's the thing he does when he wants my dick. Like you're, you're, you're just bark completely... once for yes, bark twice yeah, for no. You're, you're... Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg my arm, even my fingers, the body I've lost, the comrades I've lost, won't stop hurting, it's like they're all still there, you feel it too, don't you, I'm gonna make them give back our past. And I know someone in the comments is going to come in with the, uh, hey, not all furries are like this. And I understand that. I understand that. Fine. Put in the meme. Hashtag not all furries. But the point is, there are still a percentage of them who are like this, who do want to actually do these things, who act, who, who try to make this more normal, more accepted, and try to make it so this is something that can be done at some point in the future without having to hide it. And that is absolutely disgusting. You don't. I cannot even begin to imagine how someone gets so fucking damaged that they would want to publicly advocate for anything like this in any regard, or even even entertain the idea that it should be socially acceptable. That is absolutely disgusting. And I think people like that should just, you know, repossess their fucking genitals. Like, they, they've lost their right to have them. They can't use them responsibly. As much as I would love to continue looking at this stream, I'm going to just leave the link in the description, like I said, so you can check out the full thing for yourself, the entire one-hour podcast. Like I said, this is just to give you a quick overview of some of the, you know, spark notes of it and some of the points that were I felt somewhat important to bring up and could stand alone on a video by themselves. Please check that out. Um, subscribe to the For No Good Reasons channel as well. He's, good, he's a good content creator and he's a pretty smart guy, so definitely check that out. Also, check out the artists who did my character stills. Um, I've got their links in the description and pinned comment like I normally do. And um, I'm hoping to see you in the next video. And hopefully I won't have to be subjected to some bullshit like this person. Anyway, I will catch you guys later.